What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidal and today's analysis video is going to be about Malaysia Super League game between Kuala Lumpur City FC and Perak FC. Formation and lineups. First I'm going to explain using the tactical app then later we will see exactly the same team approach in the real game guys. So Perak on paper were lined up 4-2-3-1 formation but their formation on the ground was mostly 4-4-2 without the ball and 3-4-3 on the ball. On the other hand, Kuala Lumpur City FC lined up 4-4-2 formation. Let's see what happened in the game guys now by video. So it's mid block and the, at the halfway line, there is a big distance between the two lines which allow to KL FC front line to drop and receive between the lines. The distance is very wide it's almost 20 meters. Here once again, we can see the 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 and there is two players in front. As usual, the distance is quite wide, 20 meters. Once again here, Paulo Jose he placed himself between the lines in order to receive so he could break the lines. Here pair of weaknesses and game mistakes. Actually the team has several issues. First, their build up approach not efficient to create clear scoring opportunities. Second, finishing quality below average. Three, very low tempo when the team has the ball. Fourth, the major weakness that cost them three points with disappointing results for the fans is the reaction and transition of the midfielders from the attacking mode to defensive mode, especially Leandro. Let's see now by video. Here, the slow transition from the central midfielder who is actually the first responsible to block the counter-attacks. As we see here, the spotlight on him, he is very slow. Once again here, the team lost the ball and it's a counter-attack. Very slow reaction from Leandro in order to regain the ball. He's almost standing, watching the player going to attack them. He didn't reorganize the, the shape of the, of the block. Once again here, he left his opponent with a lot of space and time on the ball to take good decision, which caused them a goal. Slow reaction when the team lost the ball. Here must be aware to close the space quickly. As we see here Leandro. Now see the midfielder of the opponent. He come from behind. And now he's ahead and ready for the second ball in case. That show how Leandro is slow. Now here again. The team lost the ball. Leandro. He didn't make a really aggressive press on the player. He just let him pass the ball and break the pressing line. Let's see. And here again, always this sequence happened again and again in the game 1v1. That's the consequence of the bad counter pressing from the midfielders. Here again, the team lose the ball. No reaction to shift to the ball side in order to close caps and prevent, prevent the opponent from making a dangerous counter attack. He's almost standing. There is no reaction. Just walking around. And then Paulo Jose is always have the time to make killer pass. Once again here, he must shift and try to block the passing option. He give the time to Paulo Jose and then the killer pass to the right side. He always let the, the opponent progress with the short passes. And also here the late reorganization. Once again, the team lose the ball. And similar sequence happened again guys, slow reaction to apply pressure on the nearest opponent player. He give the time to Paulo Jose and then he give the killer pass to 1v1. Here it's fortunately for the team. Once again Leandro he is just standing, Paulo Jose got the ball and he give the killer pass to Morales and then he finished and he scored the goal. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
much more stuff coming down the road. Player profiles of play, match analysis, team's tactics. Stay tuned guys and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.